have, as you may know on TV, we have many new faces here in front of the Planning Commission. Um, we have Mayor Sh uh, Victor Schneider, we have Safety Director John Murphy, and we have Jeannie Sickinger, who's a resident. Um, Jeannie was instrumental in the uh, Williams Avenue Park and Playground, so she does bring a lot of experience in terms of that aspect of community service, community planning, um, community orientation. Um, Safety Service Director Murphy by statute has to be appointed uh, to the Planning Commission, but he also has experience with city government. He proudly served the city of Norwood as a law enforcement officer and was the acting chief at one time. Um, so he also brings a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge in terms of the city of Norwood and how it work. We're very fortunate to have uh, John Brown remaining from our last meeting. Uh, he was appointed by Mayor Williams, but he'll continue his service. So, so we'll look forward for uh, John Brown to stay on the Planning Commission. And uh, Mayor Schneider is here. He also, by statute, has to be appointed to Planning Commission, but he does have experience with the city. He was a long-term council member, also has experience with town properties and that aspect of development. So I think we have a pretty good group of individuals. If anybody wants to introduce themselves to the public at large, um, now is an opportunity. I think you did a pretty good job, but I would like to recognize that our, our senior planning commission member, John Brown, has, has just hit the 14-year mark on his retirement, so congratulations. Thank you. Um, so moving on to item number two, the election of a chairperson. Uh, previous that chairperson was uh, Safety Service Director Joe Gears. Um, he is no longer serving in that capacity. So may we have a motion to nominate a chairperson with a second. I nominate Chris Brown. Uh, motion, second. motion by Mayor Schneider, second by uh, John Brown. Can we call the roll, please? Mayor Schneider? Uh, yes. Sorry. Director Murphy? Yes. John Brown? Yes. Christopher Brown? Yes. 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 Thank you all for your nomination and your I will accept and thank you for putting your trust in me in terms of serving as a chairperson. I get to do the presentation. Oh. <laughs> Here's a presentation of the chairman <laughs> placard to sit in front of your desk there. Thank you. Um, and just as the chairperson basically is managing the meeting, so my vote doesn't count any more or less than any of the other members, so I'm just here to manage to make sure that things go smoothly. So. Um, it, it's an honor to, to be given that responsibility. Thank you. Uh, moving on to item number three, uh, we, election of vice chairman. Can we have a motion to nominate a vice chairman with a second? I nominate John Brown. I'll second. Motion by Mayor Schneider, second by uh, Safety Service Director Murphy. Can you please call the roll? Mayor Schneider? Yes. Director Murphy? Yes. John Brown? Yes. Christopher Brown? Yes. Jamie Sickinger? Yes. Thank you very much. All right, moving on to communications and miscellaneous. Item number one is a letter from Keith Moore, NOR Law Director, dated January 23rd, 2020, regarding appointment of members to the Community Reinvestment Housing Council. What is the pleasure of the commission? I make a motion that we have both reading, both um, letters read in entire. The oh, first okay. item on the agenda is Keith's letter. Those two items oh. are from council. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, so I make a, I make a motion. Do we have Keith, Keith's letter here? Yes, sir, in the packet, the original packet. Okay. Should be your fourth page. Fourth page. Yeah. Third page. Yeah. I moved it around. Okay. okay. So the motion is to have uh, the letter from Law Director Keith Moore read in its entirety. Do I hear a second? I'll second. Second by Safety Service Director Murphy. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, Ms. Town, would you like to read the letter or would you like me to read the letter? It's your pleasure. Uh, Ms. Town, why don't you read the letter? <laughs> <laughs> January 23rd, 2020, Norwood Planning Commission, City of Norwood, 4645 Montgomery Road, Norwood, Ohio, 45212, regarding need to appoint members to Community Reinvestment Housing Council. Dear Commission members, I'm writing about Norwood's Community Housing or Community Reinvestment Area, CRA, 
tax abatement program. This program provides for property tax abatements on the increased increases in property value from new construction or significant investments in existing property. One of the requirements under Ohio Revised Code Section 3735.69 and Ordinance 18-2009 is the creation of a Community Reinvestment Area Housing Council, CRAHC. Two members of the CRAHC are to be appointed by the Mayor, two members by Council, and one member by the Planning Commission. Those five individuals are then to appoint two other Norwood residents as members. In order to be in compliance with the state law and Norwood's ordinance, I am requesting that you name one appointee to the CRAHC. Similar requests are being sent to council and the mayor. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact me. Sincerely, Keith D. Moore, Kurt copies to Mayor Victor Schneider, City, Norwood City Council. Mayor Schneider. Uh, I make a motion we accept the letter. Uh, I, I will second that motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, with respect to the contents of the letter in terms of appointing a uh, member to the uh, Community Reinvestment Area Housing Council, has the commission had an opportunity to um, think of potential individuals that we would like to serve as our representative? And if so, if anyone has that name, we can. Um, Is this one, supposed to be one of us? No, not one necessarily. member by. One member by. So we nominate an individual to okay, serve okay. in that capacity. Um, I, I don't have anybody right now. Um, some of the people that I was thinking of has already been appointed by the council. Um, I would ask Mayor Schneider if you have had appointments to your um, from your appointments to the CRHC at this time, have you made appointments to that or are you still? I have I've made appointments to that and I think as a group, as a newly formed group, the way we are now, we, we should probably um, bring, a, think and bring a, an individual that we can put on that committee at the next meeting. Okay. And are you able to share who you appointed so that we may make sure that we don't have duplicates or if not we can just yeah, we can. I can provide those to the committee, and also some suggestions. Other people that have put their names in, um, there was a considerable amount of information that went out about different committees, and requests for people to provide information uh, if they were interested. So I have that, and, and I'll put together an email and send it out to the committee so that you can see some of those names, and I'll give you some contact information so that you can talk to those individuals also. Okay. So at this point, it seems like the best course of action is for the commission to think of potential individuals that we'd like to nominate. We'll bring those individual names to our next meeting and potentially have a item on the agenda to consider and nominate those individuals. Yeah. Okay. Good. I, I, if I may. Yes. Uh, I would like to make sure, one of the reasons why we read this out loud and made sure that it's to make sure that the community understands that there is a community reinvestment tax abatement program within the city of Norwood and if you're interested if, if you have major improvements that you're making on your current home what we see this used used for typically is people who have purchased homes and maybe they're going to flip it but they're putting a lot of money into the home but if you have a major investment that you're going to make into your existing home and you're a Norwood resident this is something that you can take advantage of and the best way to take advantage of that is contact Gary or contact somebody in the building department and they can help guide you and give you some, uh, uh, some guidelines that are required for this. But it's, it's a tax abatement program. It's, you know, sometimes homeowners feel like, you know, there's no, there's no resources out there for them. But this was put in place by city council a few years ago and it, the, it's a resource for our current homeowners to take advantage of. So please do contact uh, the building department if you're interested, if you have some big projects going on. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I don't know if this applies or not. I deal with some of these properties, and it would probably be better if I recuse myself from a 
nominating a person just so there's no indication of favoritism very well we will make that as and when we uh, vote to uh, nominate someone we'll you can just abstain thank you for your transparency and that's a good way of c continuing that transparency that we've had in the in the past All right Moving on to item number two, which is a letter from Maria Williams, Clerk of Council, dated February 19, 2020, regarding the appointment of Ms. Hillary Copsey Canaan to the Norwood Community Reinvestment Area Committee. What is the pleasure of the commission? I make a motion we have the secretary read the letter. Motion by Mayor Schneider. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by John Brown. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, Ms. Town, can you please read the letter? It's short. It's very short. February 19th, 2020. Um, Ms. Ms. Hillary Copsey Cannon. Copsey. Copsey Cannon. Cannon. Mm, we should check with that first. <laughs> um, 3805 Hazel Avenue, Norwood, Ohio, 45212, regarding appointment CRA committee. Dear Ms. Cup Copsey Cannon, this letter will confirm your appointment to the Norwood CRA Committee, which will begin on February 1, 2020. Your term will expire on December 31, 2022. Thank you for accepting this position, and I look forward to working with you in the future. Sincerely, sincerely Mary Ann Williams, Clerk of Council, City of Norwood, Copy Norwood Planning Commission. Thank you, and it's Maria Williams. Maria, my apologies. My apologies. Thank you, and, and thank you, Hillary, for agreeing to serve on the uh, Norwood CRA Committee. Um, the next is item number three, letter from Maria Williams, Clerk of Council, dated February 19, 2020, regarding the appointment of Mr. Ben Eilerman to the Norwood CRA Committee. It was a pleasure. I would like to, uh, to receive and file the letter, but uh, can we get it read in entirety? Maybe Jeannie Sanker, second, would like to read this. I'd be happy to. I take that as a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Ms. Sickinger? Dated February 19th, 2020, Mr. Ben Eilerman, 4220 Carter Avenue, Nord, Ohio, 45212. It's about the appointment CRA committee. Dear Mr. Eilerman, this letter will confirm your appointment to the Nord CRA committee, which will begin on February 1st, 2020. Your term will expire on December 31st, 2022. Thank you for accepting this position, and I look forward to working with you in the future. Sincerely, Maria Williams, Clerk of Council, City of Norwood. Thank you. Um, at that is the all the items on the agenda. Um, typical. Can one, yes, one certainly. Question about these two letters. Are these the two that were appointed by council? That is correct. These are the letters. These are the two members from the Norwood CRA committee that council appointed. Um, typically, we do have old business, new business. Um, that is not on the agenda, but if there's any old business or new business that the uh, commission would like to inform the public on, uh, this would probably be a good time to do so. Uh, seeing none, uh, there's no absent members. I will note that this is the first time in a while that we've had a full five-member commission. Uh, that does help, especially since it would avoid tie votes, uh, since we'll be able to vote uh, um, with the majority of, in terms of passing or uh, denying applications. Um, at this point, can I get a motion to adjourn? I will make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Motion by Mayor Sank, or Mayor Schneider. <laughs> Second by uh, John Brown. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. This meeting is over. When's our next meeting?